Hi, I'm Mel and I'm Double Pisces Tarot. And today I am doing a reading for Aquarius. So let's get into it. So this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Cross Watchers. Messages for Aquarius, please. So we have Let It Go. We have feminine energy. And we have drugs or alcohol addiction. On the back of the deck, following my life purpose. Okay, Aquarius. There could be some feminine energy you need to let go. This person could have some kind of addiction. Divine is instructing you to follow your life purpose. Messages for Aquarius. So we have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Four of Swords. We have the Knight of Cups. The Seven of Wands. The center of your reading, Aquarius. The four of ones. Then we've got the queen of pentacles. The five of swords. The lovers. And the Queen of Wands. On the back of the deck, you have Strength and Justice. So what is this Ace of Pentacles for Aquarius? We have the Eight of Wands, the Page of Swords, and the Hanged Man. So I feel Aquarius... This could be in the past, this could be in the current moment for you. Take what resonates, but I feel like there is someone handing you some kind of new start, some kind of new beginning. This could be divine, this could be from a person, but I feel like it's some kind of person in your energy. This person may be sending some kind of messages to you, more than one, I feel. We've got the Page of Swords coming out, so I feel this person may be online watching you, watching you online, but this person has had some kind of epiphany. We've got the hanged man, Pisces energy. This person has had the epiphany of what they want in life. And it looks like it's you. We've got the four of swords. We've got the page of cups for the four of swords. The knight of swords. And the star. King of Pentacles on the back of the deck. You may be healing at the moment, Aquarius. Got the Four of Swords coming out. Healing from something in your past. That's what I feel. Something that you needed to let go. 
We've got the Page of Cups coming out, so Water Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There could be an age difference with this person, but I feel someone wants to come in, as I said, bringing some kind of cup, some kind of emotions. This cup actually has something in it, so they've got love to give, or they've got something to give. You know, this could be with career, this could be with love. We've got the Knight of Swords coming out, so whatever this is, this is coming in quickly. Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius... We've got the star coming out, so I feel this is you. You're balancing your life. You're honest and open. This is some kind of wish fulfillment for you, this person coming in with this love. So we've got the Knight of Cups coming out. So here they come, bringing that cup. This person could come in and out of your life. We've got the High Priestess, so Pisces Cancer Energy. We've got the Six of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. So I feel this person wants to come in with a cup, wants to come in with something. They have a mission. They're going to come in this night. They could come in and out of your life. Aquarius, water energy. But they're coming in with some kind of gift got the high priestess coming out so pisces cancer energy that could be in their chart water energy could be in their chart this person could be very intuitive you know this who this person is aquarius they are some sign of some kind of soul connection i'm sorry to you they could be a soulmate from past lifetimes Someone that likes to help you, but they're wanting to come in with some kind of new start, some kind of new beginning. They want to give you a new beautiful cup of love. They want to start this with you, a new start. We've got the Seven of Wands coming out. What is this for Aquarius? We've got the Hierophant, the Chariot, seeing the Five of... I think that is yes and the five of wands i feel we've got the seven of wands so i feel this is you aquarius you are standing up for what you believe in you have boundaries you know you may be fighting for what you want in life that could be career that could be love but i feel like it could be some kind of love i got the hierophant taurus energy i feel like there's some kind of commitment that you're fighting for we got the chariot coming out so cancer energy there could be something coming in fast and i feel like it could be conflict for you you know you having to fight for this commitment it's going to bring conflict in your life. You fighting for what you want in life. This celebration. Because we've got the four sorry, we've got the four of wands coming out in the center of your reading, Aquarius. What is this four of wands? So we've got the Knight of Pentacles. We've got the Tower. And we've got the Eight of Swords. So as I said, you're fighting for some kind of commitment. We've got the Knight of Pentacles coming out, so Earth Energy. There's someone coming in slowly towards you. Someone that wants to bring a coin. Someone, you know, they have Earth in their chart, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. They don't have to, but this person comes in and out of your life. But it's like they're giving a coin. It's like they want to come in and give something. And this is going to cause a tower moment in your life. This is going to be some kind of shocking moment for you. This person coming in, wanting to start something, you know, it has taken them a while to come in. We've got the Eight of Swords. So it looks like you may be 
in your head about this situation when it does come in as to why there's a tower moment that's going to happen when they do come in wanting some kind of commitment with you we've got the queen of pentacles what is this queen of pentacles we've got the knight of wands the nine of wands and the King of Pentacles. So I feel like you could be deciding to give to this, this commitment. Because we've got the Queen of Pentacles coming out. I feel like that's you, Aquarius. You are going to give your time and money to this commitment of love or career. We've got the King of Pentacles coming out. So I feel like some kind of divine pair. Earth energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, that could be in their chart. But this is a person of wealth. This person may have a good job. They may be great with their money. But I feel like, yes, you're in this energy at the moment of this Nine of Wands. Being the wounded warrior about some kind of past. with this Knight of Wands, Fire Energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, with some kind of passionate knight, someone that wants to come in into your life. You're weary of them. You know, these two, I feel, are two different energies. So you could be with a, in a commitment with somebody, but there's someone waltzing in. You're going to fight for what you believe in and what you what you're you know, what your home is or what your thing is. So what is this Five of Swords for Aquarius? We've got the Four of Cups. The Ten of Cups. And the Three of Wands. So I feel like this is you, Aquarius. You were just going to let this person walk away. And I feel like this is you also, Aquarius. You are in this disinterested energy when this person is coming in with some kind of cup. You don't want it. You don't want their cup. Because I feel like you're looking in the distance towards this happy home and happy family. You know, you don't need this other person because, you know, you, you're getting this. You're making a choice. We've got the lovers coming out. Aquarius, what is this lovers? We've got the three of swords. The two of cups. And the Emperor. So there's some kind of choice, as I said, for you, Aquarius. Gemini energy. There's going to be a choice of lovers for you. And it looks like you're going to hurt someone's feelings. You're going to give someone a heartbreak. You know, this, there could be a three-party situation. You're just going to end it but it looks like you want to share some cup with somebody you got the two of cups coming out so you're making a choice the lovers you're ending something with someone and you're starting something with someone else you're going to share your cup with this other person you know i feel like this is you aquarius you are grabbing her cup to share cups together we've got the emperor coming out so aries energy that could be in this person's chart it doesn't have to be, but I feel like you are becoming the boss. You are becoming the leader. You're the daddy. You know, you're using your logic more than emotion with this choice. So what is this Queen of Wands for Aquarius? We got the Four of Pentacles. The Seven of Cups. And the Magician. 
So as I said, there could be some kind of three-party situation. When the Queen of Wands come out, uh, it made me feel like it's a three-party situation. We've got the Fire Energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. That could be in this person's chart. But this person has a lot of passion for you. I feel like we've got the Four of Pentacles. So this person is holding back because of some kind of choice you made. They could be online also as we've got the Seven of Cups coming out. And they're manifesting something to come back. It's like they're codependent because we've got the Devil coming out on the back of the deck. You know, you both could be codependent on each other, but, you know, the cards are coming out. You need to let it go because it's unhealthy. Then we've got strength coming out for you, Aquarius, and justice. So, you know, you could just need to have the strength to let it go because there's a justice call coming in for you. What is the strength? So I feel, as I said, Aquarius, you need to have the strength to let it go. We've got strength, Leo energy, taming that lion, holding back from arguing. I know got the five of wands coming out and we've got the seven of swords sorry the nine of swords so i feel like you are i don't know why i had to say seven of swords obviously you know you could have just had to leave a situation or someone could have just left a situation with you you could be upset about that because we've got the nine of swords coming out you know this person could have caused a lot of conflict in your life but you could still be in your head, but, you know, we've got the Wheel of Fortune coming out, so I feel like there's some kind of luck coming towards you because you're having this strength to hold back, to let it go. You know, the other energy, as I said, you know, the Devil came out with the Queen of Wands as third party, so they could have drug or alcohol addiction. Also... What is this justice for Aquarius? So we've got the King of Wands, the world, and the Two of Swords. So this is the justice call you deserve, Aquarius, for leaving this situation, Libra Energy. There's another energy around you, I feel. We've got the King of Wands, Fire Energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. But this could be also you. Because we've got the world coming out, so Capricorn energy. You could be reaching the world with something creatively with this justice call. But it looks like you're closed off to this because you're in this in your head about leaving the situation like you need to let it go Aquarius and you need to take the blindfold off and stop stopping this coming in going with the flow of life because the wheel is turning the wheel is always going to turn no matter what so go with the flow of life Aquarius because you're going to get what you deserve so I will leave it there as I said, on the back of the deck, it says following my life purpose. So in the conclusion of the reading, it comes out exactly like that. Follow your life purpose, Aquarius. Let it go. You deserve the best and you deserve what you give. So thank you for coming to my reading. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. Welcome. This is my first video for Aquarius. I will be making more, but just remember I do have playlists for all different zodiacs. 
So check out your, you know, your sun, moon, rising and Venus. There will be messages for you in there. I thank you for watching, liking and subscribing to my channel. It means so much to have you all here and having our community here to help each other. I hope you're having the great, the greatest week and as always and the greatest day as always and every moment in your life is the greatest because you don't know when it's over. But yes, I hope you all have a great week and have a great weekend. It is coming up very soon and I will see you all again soon. Bye-bye.